The ancient kingdom of Pictland is often referred to as just that, a unified kingdom of the Picts. However, as the mysteries of the Picts continue to reveal themselves, it appears as though Pictland was actually comprised of seven different but connected Pictish kingdoms who shared many linguistic and cultural characteristics. The Pictish kingdoms of ancient Scotland were Fib in modern Fife, Cat to the north in Caithness and Sutherland, Ca on the east coast around Aberdeenshire, Cersen in the Angus region, Fiddock around Inverness region, and Fortley around the Perth and Kinross region. The seventh Pictish kingdom was Fortu, which is thought to have been situated around Moray in the northeast of ancient Scotland. Fortu, however, is often used interchangeably with Pictland, perhaps suggesting that it was one of the most powerful Pictish kingdoms. Exactly when these kingdoms arose and for how long they survived is largely unknown. The first reference to Fortu, however, came from a Roman writer in the 4th century AD who referred to them as the Verturions. It is thought that Venturion came from the Brythonic root Vertebra, indicating that fortress people is how they were referred to. In Old English, Anglo-Saxon sources refer to these Pictish people as the Verteras. In the Pictish Chronicle, which is a loose historical account of Pictish kings, the seven Pictish kingdoms are said to have been founded by the seven sons of the Crusnae. The Crusnae refers to a people of early medieval Ireland who occupied a territory centred around Ulster. This has led some to argue that the Picts of ancient Scotland and the Crusnae of ancient Ireland were connected in some way, although this is debated. We do know that the Crusnae was, and still is, an Irish name for the Picts. In a religious book written between 697 and 700 AD called The Life of Columba, the author records how Columba baptised a man called Art Brannan, who was described as the chief commander of the warband of the region of Ca. There are still references to the Ca in Scotland today. The Benahi mountain range in Aberdeenshire, for instance, means the mountain of the people of Ca. In Irish sources, the seven Pictish kingdoms were said to have been ruled by hereditary chiefs or kings. It has been documented that the Picts most likely traced the hereditary line of kingship through the female line. In the early 6th century, the seven kingdoms of the Picts are said to have merged into two larger kingdoms, known as Southern and Northern Pictland. In the centuries to come, the Picts increasingly came under attacks from a seafaring people known to enjoy raiding. In a future series, I am going to focus on the Viking raids against the Picts and the other people and kingdoms of ancient Scotland. Thanks for watching. Please support this work through buymeacoffee.com and Patreon. All the links are in the description below. Through buymeacoffee.com, you can make small or large one-off donations that help support this work, with there also being an option to make recurring donations every month. Through Patreon, you will gain exclusive access to participate in my bi-monthly Q&A, the ability to vote in exclusive polls, and your name will be included in a special thank you message in each of my videos, all for as little as £1 per month. The link to the Patreon page of Celtic History Decoded is in the description below. Please also remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so that you are notified every time I post a video. And remember to follow Celtic History Decoded on Instagram and Twitter. If you are interested in history in general, subscribe to my other channel, 
Hester decoded. Thank you. Speak to you soon.